Hey, what's up, my beautiful Sun Soul family? This is Spiritual Bodybuilder, and I'm here for your March 17th. What's up with the moon today? So, I'm filling in for Marouge, not feeling very well today, but you know, your boy got it taken care of, making sure she's well and recovering well. So, please do me a favor and send all your positive vibes her way. Um, just not feeling well. She's okay. All right. She doesn't have what I'm calling now the Rona. <laughs> All right. You know, you got to like laugh, you know, you get to a point where we have no control over this shit. You just got to chuck it in the fucking bucket. And all this stuff is out of our control. Okay. And, you know, let's get down to business here and look at the chart because today is going to be a very intense day. And I got to be honest, it's going to continue to get more intense as these control measures continue to get more um, enforced. There's a very, you know, a, of course, a fear-based, you know, energy that's being, you know, that's just just exploding around the earth. And it's, it's interesting how this whole hive mind thing is sort of coming through and coming around. Um, and of course, they, you know, it's, it's, it's played off as, you know, these protective measures and making sure everything's, you know, good. Like, look, my personal opinion, it's not that big a deal. The flu kills more people. I mean, there are lots of things that kill a lot more people than this is going on right now, but it's, it's the unknown that is scaring the shit out of everybody because they're building it up. But I believe they're building it up um, to cover up something else, some deep state stuff. There's a lot of, you know, like conspiracy theories out there, but it's, isn't it interesting how all this conspiracy theory stuff is actually turning out to be conspiracy facts. Just saying. But anyways, we have um, this massive triple conjunction going on right now while Saturn is at 29 degrees. And with the moon coming over all that, it's going to go up to 20 degrees today in Capricorn. You know, tomorrow it's going to actually go over that, but you can, it's almost like you can feel it emotionally looming. Okay. So it, it, did, it, it does conjunct the south node today, which is going to be looking at, okay, what are we going to let go of here? And right now, we're having to let go of the foundational stuff. This is like Plutonian stuff. This stuff that we don't want to let go of our, our attachments to things that we've been attached to our entire lives, like how we've grown up. All right. This is literally changing the way that we approach life in and of itself. Business, relationships, you know, like it just everything is, is changing and crumbling, but it has to. And emotionally today, you know, the moon is taking a look at really it's it's sort of like a sobering day of experiencing holy shit this is real this is really happening and we have more and more information coming out you know as the as the days progress and we're just going to have to really buckle down because it's almost like this energy is going to sink in deeper and it's affecting all of us all right now here's the thing the ones of us that have faced these fears within ourselves already that have done, gone through the dark night of the soul and seen this experiences, the whole world is going through a dark night of the soul collectively. It's starting, it's purging. Whew. That's okay. Because fear can be a tool. And today, in particular, with Jupiter, Mars, and Pluto basically conjuncting, sitting around each other here for the next two weeks, this is activating uh, a six-month cycle, all right? We're going to get into that in another video. I talk about a lot more on Sun Soul TV. Go check it out there on, uh, on uh, Maru's channel. And I'm also been talking about it on, on, on uh, my channel as well. But just know for today, as far as, uh, as far as what the moon's concerned, emotionally speaking, all right, we're going through the fir first two deacons of, of, of uh, Capricorn. So it's like building up this, you know, this feeling, this, this pressure of making all this shit that we're going through a reality and seeing that, wow, life is really going to change. And we're going to, we just, we have to really prepare ourselves here for change because change is here guys. And it's inevitable. It has to happen. Okay. We all tell ourselves in our mind that we want change, that things need to happen that, but, and we've been doing it incrementally, but this like, nope, boom, smack to the face. It's time to change everything. So you know, I pray you've been doing the work. I'm sure if you're watching this and you have been, all right, now all the collective work that we've been doing over the years, this is like, 
This is like in the military, when you go through all the training, now we just got deployed. All right. This is a spiritual warfare. And today the emotions are just going to become like, oh shit. Okay. I'm actually going to war. But the war in the world is fought with love. Okay. That's, that sounds very paradoxical. Okay. But there's a war going on, but when we approach it with a, with, with a presence and energy of love from within, that's where we're able to make the most significant amount of change. That's where we are able to be the change. So approach this day with self-love in your heart and take care of yourself. Okay. Do what you can to stay safe, stay humble, stay, stay grateful for everything that you have. Okay. Because as you can see right now, you're ne you never know what's going to happen. And this is going to test us in our ability to embrace massive amounts of change. So I'm sending out positive energy to all of you. Thank you so very much for tuning in. And I will see you all you guys on the next video.